Hi, this is Mark Tewart with uh, Tewart Enterprises, and I'm here with Mike Schwartz, the sales manager from Big Candy Chevrolet in Carbondale, Illinois. How you doing, Mike? Good. How you doing, Mark? Good. And uh, I've been working with you, and our company has been working with you for how long now? Uh, it's been five years, right around five years. Five years. Yeah. And what would you say has happened in your words, uh, just kind of your viewpoint in the last five years? Sure. Uh biggest thing that has uh, helped us out is uh, process. You really came in and uh, implemented a good process for us and uh, in turn that's really helped us with uh, not only gross but uh, they always say that gross and increased units and volume can't go at the same time but you've uh, really helped us uh, to achieve that. So, Okay great. How much would you say your sales have improved since we've started working with you? On average I mean at this point we're up over 30 units per month. 30 units per month and Gross profit-wise in that five years on a given month average, uh, I know it varies, but how much would you say in a given month uh, that we've, what we've been able to do with the gross profit? You know, I'm, like you said, I know it varies, but I'd say on average probably seven fifty, and sometimes up to $1,000. seven fifty dollars to $1,000 a car and yeah. over 30 units yeah, a month. We're pretty happy about that. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, and in the process, as you were talking about, we worked with you in sales process, desking process. Uh, would you agree with that? Yeah, um, not only with the desking process, but uh, you guys came in and uh, yourself and uh, had some uh, really good trainers come from your company as well, but uh, came in and helped, the, uh, helped us coach the uh, salespeople, help coach us to uh, coach the salespeople. But uh, like I said, implemented a really, really good process and uh, it's worked really, really well for our store. Okay. And then on your inventory, have we worked with you in trying to set up an inventory guideline, especially on your used car inventory? Yeah, um, definitely structured us up with that to just give us the best, you know, assets as far as what types of vehicles they're carrying in our inventory in order to help us produce a sell the most cars as possible and to uh, carry as high of a gross as we are. Okay. And I know we've also worked greatly with the dealership and the dealer, especially in the marketing, promotions, advertising, um, and changed a lot since we first started working with you. Have you been able to obviously see the difference in what we've done with you marketing-wise? Oh, big time. I and mean, that's been one of the biggest things that we really, really like, too, is uh, when you guys came in, it uh, really helped us to uh, establish and maintain a really good message and when doing so it's really increased our traffic flow in here so it's really benefited the store a lot. Now lately we've been able to put a pretty good uh, F and, or excuse me not F&I person but a um, internet person in and we've begun to work on that process pretty hard as well in the last um, maybe six months what have you seen happen in the internet department? Uh, big things actually uh, you know since we've implemented that here um, put in again another process um, it's helped us to establish and I know this is sometimes hard to track but internet stuff in general you never know when someone walks in your showroom floor if it is just from that but the stuff we can track has increased our sales upwards over 15 units a month Wow. And F&I, um, from when we first started, if I remember right, you guys were doing about 400 and maybe a car. Is that correct? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. And on most months uh, to the highest month, where would you say you're at F&I average right uh, now? Well, I can say without even bet an eye, well over 1,000. So. Okay. And uh, would you say that we've had months that we've even done as high as 1,500 a car? Oh, most definitely. Um, and one other thing, uh, I worked with another dealership uh, in this town at one time, and it was another brand non-competitor, and I think you guys learned about me from working with them, but in our company work with them, um, just from what you saw being down here and competing, what happened with that dealership without knowing the exact numbers, what, what, what could you see happen with them? Uh, well, first off, I'd like to say I'm glad you're on our team now, but uh, <laughs> two, there's a reason you caught our attention, and uh, three, not only are we glad you're working with us, but we're glad you're not down there because it's helped us out a bunch, not only with, uh, you know, process, but uh, making sure that uh, customers, I mean, the big, big thing is making sure customers are handled. It's helped our CSI overall, just making sure everyone's more happy, but uh you know, it makes us happy because uh, selling more cars, making more money, and our CSI is, you know, never been better. So. All right, Mike. Well, I appreciate all the hard work, and uh, thank you for your time. No problem.